I'm here to share with you guys the amazing experience I had last Thursday at the Mulago Heart Institute. That's the Uganda Heart Institute. Um, I, with my friends, colleagues, uh, that's uh, Patrick Salvador and uh, Sylvia, Mrs. Uganda, Sylvia Alibi. Uh, we had an honor. I would say it was an honor because it was really, really an amazing experience for me, for them as well. Uh, we visited the Heart Institute in Mulago and uh, I must admit I was impressed so much. And I'm sure many Ugandans out there don't know what really happens there. I met Dr. Okelo, Dr. Aliko, among others. They taught us a lot. I think everybody needs to go and check out these places in like, special places that people never talk about, that the media never actually covers. They took us through uh, the outpatient ward where we saw the pediatric side for the children. It was uh, mind-blowing uh, looking at all the machines that they use for checking heart deficiencies. The ECG, yeah, uh, the ECG was one that caught me because I used to think a treadmill was just for exercise. Kumbe, the, <laughs> the one at the Uganda Heart Institute is, is used for, it can gauge that you have a problem on your heart. So this is an interesting machine. It's uh, this a treadmill like how you have in the gym. Yes. But this is a medical one. Uh, it's connected to this ECG and all this stuff, so and it measures your blood pressure. You actually run on the treadmill. This helps to look for hidden disease. They have these programs that go around schools, and I think that's amazing. We go to the schools and talk to them, hey, this disease, rheumatic heart disease, is there, and it attacks people of your age, and it starts with a simple sore throat infection. Wow. They also have community-based programs where the nurses go and talk to young mothers or mothers that have young kids to look out for these signs such that children do not develop heart disease in their early ages or later ages. We were now taken to where the magic happens in case they do the diagnosis, they find you with a heart deficiency and you are recommended for an operation. We were honored to enter uh, the first private citizens who are not going to get treatment or are not part of the medical team who are uh, given the honor of touring the theater. And I must say, I was amazed. People think they have to cut you and people are scared, but there are simple, simple machines you, you don't know about that are here. They will just check your heart without practically cutting your, your, your skin and stuff like that. There was one called over catheter, catheter, catheter something. It was <laughs> those medical words, I should go back to medical school. The cath lab is a new phenomenon here in Uganda, but we've had it actually for about uh, 10 years now. Mm. It's this theater where we use uh, pinhole technology. We don't cut somebody, we go through either their vein or their artery, oh. and we're able to see, yes. Wow. They don't have to do an open heart surgery. Yeah, it, it just through the artery and they can do a uh, treatment. Listen, Dr. Okello explained it all. It was just mind blowing. This is the, as I was saying, the most challenging bit to explain to the public. For people to see that you can actually have these high-tech procedures without done. being cut yes. and it can be done here. So sometimes we do this either through a pinhole in an artery in the groin here okay. or, or through the wrists. So you actually live with, with an armband that looks like a watch and, yeah. and, and yet you've had a complex procedure. Yeah. So that is part of the advancement in technology that we've been uh, doing wow. and it works uh, very, very well. An ambulance brought in a patient from somewhere and the doctor told us, Dr. Kello, that wait a minute, an emergency has just come in. Oh my God. You now I have an emergency. There's an adult who has had a heart attack. They went to Novik. She came from Miganga to Novik this morning. Now they brought her here. So let's go and then I'll hand you over to Sister Lisa. It was amazing to see this right into action. I mean, we're there touring, they're telling us this, and per patient, a heart a complication has come in. And there and then we see uh, the doctors in action, totally unplanned. Our cath lab 
It's at an international standard. Even it stands to the level of all cat labs in the US, Canada, South Korea, wherever you'll go. It is at that standard. Even the staffs who work in are high level staff, well trained, with high skills. The patient, uh, an elderly senior citizen, was uh, operated successfully and they did not have to do an open heart surgery. And I must say, I was blown away. My mind has uh, evolved, I should say, because I was one of these very skeptical people when it comes to uh, Ugandan services, especially in the health sector. But I must say, after that tour, I have grown, I have uh, evolved, I have matured, and I was really humbled. And I'm happy to discover that my Uganda has the resources and the capability to treat our people. It's very, 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 very amazing that we have Mulago Hospital Heart Institute has all of these uh, machines that, that we need to work on these people who are suffering from heart diseases. I also didn't know, like, we have so many issues where people have heart problems and they opt to fly out of the country to China, to, I don't know, India. I've seen a lot of cases, oh, we want to fly so and so to India. And I've been among the people who are advocating for that. Until you go to Mulago, you will not know we have these things in our country. And they're actually working 100%. And we have the experts, the doctors who work on these patients.